in this video this is what we are going to be creating today we are going to be creating light leaks i know you've probably have been downloading light leaks assets from youtube and some other source but today i want to show you how you can actually create your own this is going to be a really quick tutorial and it's going to be really really easy for you to do so stay tuned The very first thing you want to do is to create your composition. So the default is fine. Make sure it's about 30 frames per second and the duration is 10 seconds. You can make it as long as you want, but we are sticking with 10 seconds for now. So I'll click OK. So the next thing is to create a solid. So I can click here, go to new and click on solid. And I'm, I'm going to name this fractal noise because that's the effect I'm going to apply to it. I'll click OK and I'll go to the effect and preset. Uh, just this then I'll type fractal noise It's under noise and grain so I'll click and drop it here so I would like to tweak the settings I'm gonna leave it on basic but I'll come here and change this to spline you can see this one is more softer and I'll go to the contrast and then increase this a lot so let me do about 765 okay and of course I will reduce the brightness to about let's say minus 2 10 so we have something like this of course it's looking rough because of the complexity so i'll drop down the complexity a lot so i'll drop it to the least the digit which is one now we have something really soft so the next thing we want to do is to go to the transform and uncheck uniform scaling and i can just drag this up and i can also drag the height as well for the scale width i will do 1120 we can't even see anything here but we'll keep tweaking it for the height we'll do one nine four nine let's make it 50. we cannot see much going on here so what i can do i can change the offset a little bit maybe i can drag it further down to see if i can get anything i'm not seeing much right now but then let me play with the evolution let's see now with the evolution you can see that we're already getting close to it and what i want to do is to animate the evolution so i can leave the offset where it is then i can just animate the evolution let me see i think i would like this to yeah to be something like this and divide okay now i think i'm satisfied with this what i like to do is to put in an expression on this so that this will keep animating i'll just alt click the evolution and i'll put in time i'll do 200 if i click out if i play this this is what i have can you see and i think i'm pretty satisfied with what i'm saying so i don't want it to be appearing almost all the time i just want it to just reveal a little bit and go back to black reveal some part of the bright values and then go back to black that's what i really want and that's what i'm really getting yeah i think this is really looking cool so i will just close this sometimes when you're working on fractal noise you might not really get some really 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 soft edge like we are having here or you might of course you definitely get soft edge but it might not be as good as you want it sometimes i like to just double it up with blur so i'll go to my effect and put in fast box blur and i'll drop it here i will just increase this a lot so i'll put it to about let's say 94 then i'll increase the iteration to about 15 that's too much let's do 15 then i'll click on repeat edge pixels now you can now see that it's blending really really well so the last effect you are going to be adding to this is hue and saturation so i'll come to my effect and preset and type in hue and drop it here so right now what i want to do is to tweak the settings of the hue and saturation so first of all i'm gonna have to click on colorize and as soon as i do that you can see that the color changes so i can actually change the color of this if i keep tweaking this can you see it's changing color so what i'll do if you just want a one color light leak you can just leave it at any of the values here but if you want multiple colors uh, all you need to do is to animate this so what i'll do is i'll take my time indicator from the beginning i'll set this here at any value here and i'll take it back and i can just make this go around let's say twice and if i play this now if i just scroll over it can you see it changes color at every point so let me just let this render and play and you guys can see it clearly can you see we have different colors at every point okay so this makes it look more dynamic actually and i think we are done setting up our fractal noise our light leaks so all we need to do is to bring in our any footage that you have so i'll go to my videos here and i'll take this video and i'll put it under here of course you won't see it but then i'll change the blending mode of the fractal noise to screen and as soon as i do that you have something like this so let me scale down this footage a little bit so let's do something like this 
copy to screen so if i play this now this is what i have can you see right so it can be very strong like this so all we need to do is to reduce the opacity a little bit and then you have something really really cool right so if you want more of this action thing going on more of this light leaks going on you can still go back to the fractal noise and then maybe you kind of increase the brightness a little bit or you increase the scale so you can have more thing going on so you want to see this clearly just change this to normal and you increase the opacity and then you can have more thing going on here so you actually have the freedom to tweak the light leaks as much as you can Okay, so but I'm just going to leave it the way it was. So I'm just going to undo till I have what I had before. And I think this is it. So we I play this, this is what we have. And there you go. You can add this on top of any clip and you have your really, really cool light leaks. We've come to the end of the tutorial. Please make sure you do like this, comment, and then share. And of course, if you are new to this, please subscribe so that you can always get the latest updates from me. In addition to that, click on the bell icon beside the subscribe so that you can yes get a real-time update as well. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.